folks, time now is 5.07. Wells Fargo, they are facing a lot of heat this morning oh. because of an issue with diversity. They are trying to diversify their company all in all, but according to Times Magazine, they are not doing it the right way. They are holding interviews for diverse candidates for positions promised to white men by saying, hey, we're going to bring in a so-called woman or a so-called person of color to fill that spot just to make sure that we are looking good on paper and avoid possible audits. So folks, why, why would a person do this? Why would a person, why would a company do this? They're doing this just so they can fill the numbers, fill the gaps, folks, but this is definitely not the right way. Folks, I should say this is definitely one of our top trends on our website right now and on Google. We tried to reach out to Wells Fargo, but we did not receive a comment. A lot of people on social media obviously reacting. One person say, you talk to any black folks who had to go through shame interviews simply to check the diversity box. Another person saying, not condoning this behavior, but you should treat every interview like someone already has the job. Yeah, it's time for me to close the Wells Fargo accounts. Y'all stay doing some messed up stuff to black people. Hashtag do better. So we want to know, should companies have requirements when it comes to diversity and hiring? Sarah, I will say a former executive spoke up about this to Time Magazine and said, hey, I'm a white male and I actually was in that position to hold these so-called diversity uh, interviews, even though they already had filled the position. So just giving you some perspective on how this issue really played face to face with the candidates that they really wanted to fill the numbers with. And, and we've seen this with organizations across the board, including the NFL. So this morning, text 704-329-3600 and let us know what you think about this. Sarah? Ruby, thank you.